I like to use DaVinci Resolve for my video editing, but I'm still really new to it. I would say I probably have like maybe a kindergartner's level of experience with this. Um, so I like to look for short, easy fixes to some problems that I have. And one that I happen to have deals with the footage I take on my iPhone. Now the iPhone that I use is my iPhone 13 mini, and I also have an iPhone 12 Pro Max. Now, when I take video and I look at it on my phone, it looks fine. When I look at it on my computer, it looks fine. But when I import it into DaVinci Resolve and render it sometimes, it looks all washed out. Now, you can take the time to use the color editor in DaVinci Resolve and mess around with the lift, the gamma, and the gain, and all that stuff. But sometimes you just want to get it done quickly. And you can do that with a LUT. A LUT is short for lookup table. And it's essentially a file of settings that someone has made and saved off so you can apply it kind of like an Instagram filter to your own footage. Um, it's usually custom to the medium that you took the picture in and with the medium you're trying to work with. Um, but for me, it's just a file that I can overlay onto my footage and it looks the way I want it to look. So how do you do this when you're dealing with an iPhone and the washed out footage that you see? Now there's an, a website out there by Filmic Pro and Filmic Pro is like a really advanced um, video app um, but I like to go to their website and use their LUTs. If you go to their site like I am here and scroll down to the very bottom there's a section called Filmic Pro Suite and there's a section on about LUTs. So you click on LUTs and now you're presented with two options that you can download. Now it's safe to download this. They're both free. Um, so you just download it, no problem. Filmic LUT is the one I use. The uh, Apple Log LUT is for phones with app that can do Apple Log. Now Apple Log is something I think that's on the 15 and the 16, but I have a 12 and 13, so it doesn't really apply to me. So I download this Filmic LUT pack. So it just drops down into my downloaded folder. So let's take a look at that. Here it is right here. You can see this just a zip file. So I'll double click on it and unpack the zip file. All right, now what's here is a folder and inside the folder are some subfolders with LUTs in them. And you can tell they're the LUTs because they have the .cube extension on each of the files. So now how do you get these things into DaVinci Resolve? Well, luckily that's pretty painless. So we'll pull up the app, and then we go into settings down in the lower right hand corner, this is the project settings, go into color management, and if you scroll down to the bottom, you can see a section on lookup tables, and then there's one that says open LUT folder. So these are all the LUTs that come prepackaged with DaVinci Resolve. Now how do we get ours into here? Well you just go to your downloaded folders and drag and drop the Filmic Pro folder into the LUT folder and you can see that it shows up here. Now the one catch with that is you have to restart DaVinci Resolve for it to take. So we'll do that real quick. Okay, now we're back. Now, if we want to change the footage, because like, here's the footage, it's all washed out. We go into the color tab, because you are changing the color, so you have to do it in the color tab. Go up to the LUTs button up here in the upper left-hand corner, click on it, and then you can see all the different LUTs that are available. Now, here's our Filmic Pro folder, so let's click on that, and then here's the three folders here. Um, one's ProRes, and I don't have ProRes on mine, so I'll never use those. This is 8-bit SDR for iPhone and Android, but the one I'm interested in is this 10-bit for um, iOS only. So I'll double-click on it. Now here's the two LUTs that are available in this folder. One's for HLG and one's for Log. Now I know because I looked at the file information uh, for this film clip, and it's filmed with HLG Science, so I'm going to use this one. But you can also just drag your mouse over it and kind of see how it's going to change the video. 
All right, so that looks pretty good. Um, just for fun, let's look at the D log. Now you can look at this one and you can see that it's shadowy and a little oversaturated. So I'm gonna apply this, I just double click. And just like that, my footage is now looking the way I want it to look. So let's go back to the timeline. And just like that, the footage looks not washed out, a little more to my liking. So whenever I use iPhone footage, I always apply this LUT. And it's pretty easy and pretty quick. Um, so these are one of those quick tips that as a new user of DaVinci Resolve, I like to have in my back pocket. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.